The new Mac softball championships being played all weekend long at WPI and WPI in the championship round taking on MIT. It is the engineers versus the engineers. Pick it up in the top of the first scoreless game. WPI's Mackenzie Phillips in the circle and getting the strikeout. Moving to the bottom of the second. MIT's Ravine Nasser gets a strikeout of her own. Kelsey Sauce here, former Holy Name and WPI standout in her first season as an assistant for WPI. Bottom of the third, WPI's Lindsay Ambrosino with a chopper to second. She's safe and she has got herself a single. Nasser gets another strikeout. Later in the inning, WPI's Caroline Wood drives one up the middle. Ambrosino being waved home from second. She scores. 1-0 WPI. Wood advancing to second and picking up an RBI. Top of the fourth. MIT's Michelle Wist with a shot to left center. And Wist is aboard with a single. Then it's Anya Chase. With the sacrifice fly to left, Wist is tagging. She scores. And we are tied up at one apiece. Bottom of the fourth. Nasser with another strikeout. She had six on the night. MIT gets the win tonight, five to one. So WPI will play Wellesley tomorrow for the right to meet MIT in the finals. Doherty taking on Tantasqua. Softball, Rockwood Park, and Ralph Raymond Diamond, the legendary coach. Top of the first, Doherty's Eden Forget getting the strikeout. Bottom of the first, runners in scoring position for Julia Moyna. The base hit, Natalie Barrera scores, 1-0 Highlanders in front. Next batter, Caroline Ober. Grounder to short, she does her job though. Emily Gehagen coming in to score, 2-0 Highlanders. Tantasqua's Rachel Flamond gets the strikeout to end the inning. Top of the second, Tantasqua pops it up. Gehagen playing well behind the plate, makes the grab on the run. Then it's Forget getting the strikeout to end the inning. Bottom of the second, runner at second for Barrera, and she delivers. Crushing one to the wall in center field, a one hopper off the fence. Bridget Murray coming around from second to score. RBI double for Barrera, and it is 3-0 Highlanders. Next batter, Gahagan. Launching one, over and out. It is a home run, that's a blast, a two-run home run. Fergie Hagen makes it 5-0 Highlanders. I love to see the high school teams playing down at Ralph Raymond Diamond. Doherty gets a big win today. 12-0 is your final. John Andrioli, the former St. John standout, is with the Minnesota Twins AAA affiliate, the Rochester Red Wings. Rochester is in Pawtucket all weekend. Now, last year, Andrioli played about 30 games in the big leagues. So this year with Rochester, he's got a different role. He's a leader on the team. He's competing for his spot, but he's also helping the young players. I mean, uh, especially with the Twins organization, they have a lot of young, uh, exciting prospects. So uh, I just remember, you know, my first year in AAA, which a lot of them are experiencing. Uh, you know, I just try to talk them through some of my experiences and what to expect. And, you know, uh, you know, some of the adjustments you make when you're facing a lot of guys in this league have a lot of major league time trying to get back to the big league. So it's a little bit uh, more challenging, I think, than the lower levels of the minor leagues coming up and uh, just trying to help them out and mentor them. And uh, at the same time, you know, keep my game sharp and be ready and, you know, if something happens up top. John Andrioli, former standout at St. John's in football as well as baseball, and then had a great career at UConn. The Paw Sox, you can see John Andrioli in the Pawtucket Red Sox and the Rochester Red Wings right here on our air tomorrow night, 6 o'clock live from McCoy Stadium. It's the Paw Sox and the Red Wings. Tune in, won't you? The Worcester Public School Hall of Fame induction tonight at the Wachusett Country Club. A great night. Such talented and good people inducted. Andy Borisino, John Baldwin Sr. and Jr., Greg Brown, Ryan Connor, Katie Curtin, Ernie Dew, T.J. Donahue, Jeff Garabedian, Cherie McLean Holmes, the 1975 South High Hockey Team, and Francis Trainer, the special contributor. Congratulations to all of the inductees tonight. A great, great night. And again, tip of the hat, too, to the entire uh, committee, the Hall of Fame committee that works on this all year long, and Shannon Bartley in particular, just, I mean, it's like uh, planning a wedding, and she does it all year long, and then finally it comes to fruition. It was a great night. It was a packed house. 
So great recognition for these people and also a fundraiser for the inner high sports. Absolutely. It's good stuff. Well, that's going to do it for us here on Worcester News Tonight. For Kevin Shea, I'm Anna Botari. We'll see you next week. <laughs>